Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on. And thank you very much for watching this video. Now, I went shopping yesterday morning, went to Iceland. Surprise, surprise. Come and have a look what I got. So, Ed's new Smoky Joe Burger with barbecue sauce, exclusive to Iceland. So, I picked this up, it was two pounds so let's get it open and see what we've got so this will be I think my fifth my fifth Ed's Easy Diner I think fourth or fifth oh hey up there we go look, look at that let me get it open hey up hey up what's this what's in a little box little carry case hey up so there we go that is that there we go, let me get a bit of better light for you. There we go, look. Got a load of shadows. There's a lovely day today. Sun streaming through, beautiful. Look at that. It's gonna be a procedure here. Let's have a look, see how we cook it. There we go, look. Um, five stage procedure. If you wanna pause it, by all means, crack on. There we go, look at that. So, what I'll do, I'll, um, I'll get it cooked and I'll bring you back and I'll hopefully talk through the procedure of cooking all the the burger. So I'll just I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> can't get me bloody, can't get me words out. So it's done. I um, I had to basically the cooking was I had to take the burger out, put it on a microwave plate, cook it for forty five seconds, turn it over, cook it for a further forty five seconds, and in the meantime, put the sauce into some hot water. And then once it's once the burger's done, in the meantime as well, the bun, I toasted the bun. I got a comment, can you toast the bun? So I toasted the bun. Um, and then assemble the burger, um, add the sprinkles and the sauce, and I'll do it in the uh, microwave for a further one minute on an 800 watt setting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's done, it's sitting there, it smells lovely. It's barbecue. I'm hoping it's. I'm not that. I'm not a great lover of barbecue, but uh, I'm hoping it's going to be all right. Like you know, certainly a good size as well. And um, I'd also like to say thanks very much for um, all the new people joining the channel. Call them foodies, N not subscribers. Foodies. I'm getting um, quite a few trickling in now. Thank you very much for that. I, I do appreciate it. And if you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've not already subscribed, please maybe consider subscribing to the channel and that really, really does help. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, let's get into this anyway. Let's let's show you what this is all about. Here we go. There it is. Look, that is that. Sorry about the shadows. Let me get a bit of better light for you. There we go. It's quite a size, I'll be honest. Let me open up and have a look inside for you and show you inside. Uh, let me get a... Got the lovely morning sun coming through. There we go. There, there's the sprinkles. There's the cheese, and I can smell that barbecue sauce, and there's the burger look. Oh, I'm salivating. I'm looking forward to getting into this one. So let me tell you a little bit about the burger. Um, a bar-marked white bread bun with cooked beef and chicken. Quarter pound burger. Processed cheese slice. Oh, sorry. With sachet of crispy onions and a barbecue sauce. So it's uh, a cooked beef and chicken quarter pounder. Yeah, cooked beef and chicken. Oh, that should be an interesting combination, shouldn't it? Let's have a look and see what it tastes like. So it's cooked well, I'll be honest, that the, the bun's the bun's well, it's it's um it's not soggy, it's gone like toasty. So let's get a little bite. I'm gonna have a little bite today. Mmm. Mm. I'm tasting them, um, them sprinkles. Wow, they are tasty. But I've got a lot of bun taste as well, so what I do, I need to have a few bits of it to, to, to get a to fair, fair opinion. Mmm.
Mmm, it's quite tasty. I'm getting cheese through as well. And the sauce as well. The bun's the bun's lovely as well. It's I did it in the toaster for um I did it for about two minutes on a low setting. And I finished it off in the microwave and it's it's worked out well. It's like um crispy on top, the bun. I, I, I dare say if I'd done it in the microwave for all the time, it would have just gone soggy. Well not soggy but soft. That's got a nice texture to that bun. So thank you very much for that comment. Uh, and the, the burger itself, well, it's just, yeah, it's. Mmm. Mmm. It is tasty. I'll tell you what, it's quite salty as well. I'm getting a bit of salt through on that. Like, yeah, you don't need to season this. It's just all right as it is. It's two pounds. I didn't mention it. it was two two pounds. Yeah, it's, it's not too bad. Um, it's not too bad, really. I don't think it's as good as the one I had yesterday. I think it's just this is probably second best. Probably second best this one. And then the um, the pancakes with the maple syrup is third best. But it's it's all right. Yeah, it's it's all right. It's, it's, it's all right from me. Ah, yeah, it's a good size as well. It's a quarter pounder, like so. There it is, have a look at that in there, look, the meat. So it's a chicken and beef. I never don't think I've had a chicken and beef burger before. This is the first. So it's, I'll tell you what it reminds me of. Um, when I was younger, I used to come out of a nightclub. We used to go across the road to uh, like a burger bar. We used to get these quarter pound burgers basically. And I think they must have been sitting in like a heat box for ages. And they just taste like that. They just taste like that. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Because we did have a skin full of beer at the time, you know, it was like three o'clock in the morning. It was always open. We used to we used to go there and get burgers and hot dogs and stuff. Basically, it tastes a bit like that. So it's taken me back to my youth a long time ago. So anyway, I'm just digressing here and going on. So thanks very much. And uh, if I was to mark it, it'd be about um, it's a good eight, good eight out of ten. And I'd buy it again. I would buy it again. So all the best. Take care on this beautiful sunny day. And I hope the sun's shining wherever you are. Um, all the best, take care, and I'll catch you on the next one.